And it put in the work against Ling Ling. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did beat Ling Ling with that, so yeah. All right, here we go, though. FD. Ooh. All right, this is actually going to be a really curious start for this. Okay. Shooting, oh. out, shooting one out for the crowd. I appreciate it. Thanks, Ralph. Ralphie playing. He's dead already. <laughs> he made one mistake and Eric was like, yeah, dead? That's what happens when you're spacey against Mystery. Mystery is, is pretty dang good against spacies. I don't know if I do save so myself. Because he could do this. I'm pretty sure he's clocked in more hours in the Lucina versus Wolf matchup than like any other character. I mean, if there's any place to learn it, argu arguably Mystery, I believe, is the best Lucina currently in, in the game. So, you know, he's out there. Okay, though, Ralphie, you know, showing that Wolf has a pretty damn good punish game against Lucina. I like this. So, I like what, what we saw from uh, Proto Banham at CEO is that stalling with Shield Breaker is pretty, pretty sick. And Mystery doing that right there above the ledge just to, to add some shield pressure on Ralphie. Unfortunately, could he lose the stock for that, though? All right, to be fair, Eric's been stalling with shield, uh, shield Breaker at the ledge for like a minute. Yeah, no, he's been out here. Like, the air dodge through to cross up. That was very interesting from Ralphie. I've never really seen anyone air dodge up from neutral <laughs> to cross up someone. So, characters that have very aggressive nares are allowed to do it. Because, like, you'll see, typically speaking, you'll see it out of like lower tier characters, like. Villager, for instance, or like, uh, I guess Falcon. But you don't want to do, you don't want to do it with Wolf. You know his Nair is gonna win. You just gotta put it there. And any longer time you spend in the air against Lucina is just time wasted. Because then she's got time to swing on you. And are you really going to voluntarily let Mr. E swing on you? I've been so enamored by Eric's player cam for this entire game, dude. He's in the game. He, my boy booted up Code Lyoko and got in there. That's wild, bro. Eric, I, I love it. He's literally reacting to every single thing he's doing. If it, it, it works to keep you focused, man. These trades, though. Ralphie, if he keeps losing these trades against uh, Mr. E, he's going to be eating it, though. Great safe F tilt right there. I love the running F tilt. I think patience on both players, but I feel like Ralphie's just working himself from too far of a deficit too quickly. Like, his first stock was essentially thrown away. Okay. And it's caused him to, like, work off such a backlog of pressure from nah. me. Like, look at him. He's sitting with max rage, and now he's going to work off a whole stock. So I've seen this man commit highway robbery before. Not even highway robbery. This man literally would just walk into people's houses and rob them. However, These this man disappear. literally just mashed we got up the on the... We shield. My man mashed up on the yellow stick and got the kill for it out of hit stun. That is wild. That's real. That's a real thing. As DJ Khaled would say, that's a real sound. I hate this. I hate that's, that's a real sound right there. I don't want this to be real anymore. What do you do? Fair him? Right? He got fared into it? Hey, well, he, he yeah, Ralphie did falling fair. Oh, no, he didn't. He actually didn't mash out of hit stun. He just did jump up there to call it a jump. But again, yeah. you don't want to be spending any additional airtime against the story. It's hard. It's hard not to jump when Wolf. most of Wolf's startups are aerials. Yeah. yeah. It's and, and and fair. fair. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that, like, E already, like, Lucina's already a character with just amazing follow ups from her anti air options. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't want to be eating falling up air, up tilt, nair. You're just not things you want to interact with. But then E especially looks out for these because he knows that a lot of players in this area get things from jump ins. Ralph, though, starting off really nice. This stock, and he gets the neutral get up with the F smash. That's going to be huge for him. Now he can just trade all he wants. Sort of a role reversal from game one. Ooh, these parries. I'm liking them. My man. Wife was not happy with how badly yeah, he no, got I coached. wouldn't be either. My man, my man. My man popped out the Addy real quick and <laughs> went off on reactions. It's like, mind if I play some Super Smash Bros? <laughs> what if I step in here? Ooh, oh, that was right. cute. That was real cute. I thought Mr. E kind of struggling to find any of his footing right there. I love how much space that Ralph has been threatening right in front of his very own face. Mr. E's been unable to get in as well as he has. I think it's also the stage change. He's not able to juggle with up airs reliably, and, and Ralph, Ralphie's not going to be inclined to hop up onto those oh! platforms. That being said, though. Uh, so Eric did the thing! This shield break has been brought to you by Domino's Pizza. Don't eat it. Anyway, back to the game. It's like a commercial break. <laughs> Where is Lucita's spine? <laughs> we just don't know. At least Ralph is keeping the match going a mile a minute here. Because, like, you know E is going to be responding with aggressive buttons. Both and you know these, he's going to be smart with it. Both of these players ride momentum extremely well. It's, it's just their play style and I think the nature of their characters as well. But these two, once they have a lead, they don't tend to let go of it for a while. Because their mix is, is so good. Like, 
Oh, Ralph, Ralph. Okay, I like the retreat though by Ralph. He didn't want to lose the trade if, if he decided to mash a button out of hit stun. They fixed the jab. That's good. Oh, Ooh. really greedy. Really right. gritty landing. Fair. Yo, even Ralphie in the player cam is like, why yeah. did I do that? Why was I there? Yeah, no, that was that was greedy. You don't want to be landing with aerials as wolf. It's, it's just not it's just not a good thing to do for most characters, honestly. Typically want to go to ledge and just like stay evasive because against Lucina, who's a really good whiff punishing character, she's gonna do that to you. This <laughs> my man, my, man, my man just joined the Rockets. <laughs> I mean, my man was like, Radio City, eat this. Well, right. I like it though. It's it's a low middle option. It's a fast enough option. It's hitting the platform. Oh, he just did it. He just did it. My man just did the quick somersault and just did it. That was well, a double backflip in the back here. I love how the spaces do flips. They're so flashy. Yeah, Ralph held that lead very, very nicely all game. Even where he when he started doing panic options, he was able to recover super duper quickly. So good stuff to Ralph. <laughs> what are you doing? Where are you doing it? <laughs> Why is he doing it? Where are you putting those? It's too late. All right. I have a big one. You'll get a pogs. Anyway. Going. Game three is on Yoshi's story. Oh, Yoshi's story. What story? I don't know. It's, I don't it's, know. I don't think Yoshi can read. It's no, they can read. This is the story about how the super happy tree got robbed. <laughs> so the Yoshis were like, "Hey, get that back! <laughs> Who's it done with that tree?" <laughs> so yeah, the triplats I think are great for both of these characters, honestly. Um, Mister Eden, I've been controlling center stage, center stage with a vice grip. Yeah, I was gonna put it there too, honestly. Oh, we don't do wake up DP like that anymore. Yeah, no. It, it, I love, love how Dolphin slashes a DP, bro. It is. It's, it's DP. I know. I know. Dre has spoken about it on Twitter quite nicely. I mean, it's the trade there. Ugh. Okay, great, great stall with the side B right there. I think Eric got a little greedy with that. I feel like he could have just ran off a back air or something like that. That was a great back air for Mister E, though. That move covers so much space, especially if you decide to roll behind. Both these two just punishing each other for. Exhibiting bad habits by jumping a lot. The aerials that Eric puts out, it helps him not only like occupy the space, but like when he's putting out bear as liberally as he is, he's doing so to make sure that he can maintain his momentum. Because as you know, you're turning around with that bear. And from there, it's just fairs. And lots and lots of lots of Ooh, he was gonna go up and get an aerial out, but Mr. E was too quick on the draw. Okay. I'm digging how patient E's been playing this. He's been really Slowing it down in comparison to the first two games. And it's paying his dividends really nicely. Whiffing that back air right there, though. This is Ralph's opportunity to get himself started. There you go. Get that grab. It's really, it's really on this stage, it's honestly just about who's controlling center stage at the moment. In particular, what I like about this stage, and it's it's a favorite counterpick of, uh, of E, is that he knows he doesn't have to rush for the kill. The blast zones are on a tighter oh, end. Oh, no. What happened? He just needs a contest for the stage, and that's what's working. Can I have another one for my cheeks? Thanks. Yeah, no, this the mystery's been hanging on to this lead, and Ralphie's just been falling in front of him. The thing is, mystery's parries have also been pretty on point as well. So it's just like, what, what do you do when you try to land against Lucina? Just pick a better landing off. It's just that easy, bro. Oh my god! Yeah. Give me your stock. <laughs> it's just a, pr it's a brutal game. Like, he has a habit of being able to limit the options that you have at the ledge to the point where you just become so linear, he can just go down and just choose the one option that's going to win. My man knows how to swing a sword. He's been doing it for a long time. Ralph was jumping a lot, though, when some of those scrambles. I would like to see him to roll out of the shield pressure just a little bit because Eric was holding down center stage and they just kept jumping around each other the entire time. So I would have wanted to see, like, them take other avenues to escape other than jump. I know jump might be the quickest one, but it's one that Lucina can catch the easiest. I know Roll's also overcommittal, but he's mainly been doing short hops in the middle of the stage. 